And a big night tomorrow evening for the Salt Lake City Theater community because we are raising the curtain on Curtains. That's a Tony Award winning musical coming to the Grand Theater. David Hansen, you're the director of Curtains. Tell us about this production. It's a fantastic show uh, written by the same team that put together Chicago the Musical, which most people are familiar with. Uh, it's a fun uh, whodunit wrapped in a comedy wrapped in an homage to the old mid-century Rodgers and Hammerstein kind of musical, just wrapped up in one big messy package. Wow, it sounds like quite a theater burrito there. So really something for everybody, because you have the musical numbers and mm -hmm. the dancing, plus there is the mystery element and also a lot of laughs, right? Yes, yeah, indeed. In fact, there's even one character who is investigating the murder who wants to kind of be part of the theater crowd and really kind of speaks to, you know, we get a lot of people who love the idea, well, I'd love to perform, but not quite my thing. This kind of ties into them as well. Tell me what the process is like for you as a director. You've been working on this for about six weeks now, taking it from, you know, paper script to this production that we're going to see starting tomorrow evening. Yeah, it's, it's a long process, and we actually start pre-production uh, even before that. Um, six weeks with the cast, just rehearsing, going over the music, learning the dance choreography, uh, staging all of the scenes, putting it together piece by piece by piece and just honing it until we add the technical elements. And then hopefully it all comes together. Uh, tell us about this cast. Who are the, the performers we're going to be seeing on stage tomorrow night? We have a few local favorites. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan Beecher uh, is headlining the show. Uh, he's been working with a lot of different theater companies around the Valley and well-known. Uh, Camille Van Wagner is, is uh, an old-time favorite of a lot of ours. Uh, she's fantastic in this role um, and it just it's so much local talent that we get to use here on such a regular basis that uh, you know there's usually somebody you recognize <laughs> somewhere in the cast. And uh, I'm sure some of our viewers are familiar with the Grand Theater but uh, tell us about this venue where it's located mm -hmm. and what it's like. It's located it's the old South High on, on State Street in South Salt Lake now taken over by Utah uh, sorry, Salt Lake Community College mm -hmm. one of their campuses but the old auditorium that was there when it was South High has been redone. It's almost 100 years old now. Uh, it's a beautiful space, big open space with uh, even cherubs up on the ceilings and beautiful architecture. It's a wonderful place. All right, so you're going to start tomorrow evening, and then when would the performances be after that? Uh, they'll be running Wednesday through Saturday, two shows on Saturday, uh, all the way until the 26th of October. Okay, and where can people go to get more information on the play and uh, ticket information as well? Best place to go, uh, our website is grandtheatercompany.com. Uh, they can get the tickets there. All the contact information is there if they want to call them and get them there. Or they can just buy them at the top box office at the door. Okay, sounds great. And, and any jitters? We're one day away from the open. Oh, <laughs> there are always like jitters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A, it's, it's a stressful time. There's a lot of adrenaline in getting these last few pieces put together. But, you know, the, it, the show must go on. It's, it's a cliche adage, but it's true. We always seem to find a work it in together. Well, here's another cliche. Break a leg to you and the entire cast. Thank you. I'll which you would need on. if you broke a leg, I right. guess. <laughs> David, thanks for being here.